So the second leg of the playoffs conclude in the City of Steel. And you need a bit of steel on a night like this. The players of Sheffield United and Nottingham Forest are full of hope, but fear is never far away because the winner takes it all at Bramall Lane. Michael Tong has made room for himself. Oh, and it's been turned behind by Dean Windas. Oh, the only reason he misses is because Darren Ward gets a touch on it. Brown. And Brown. Oh! It was within a whisk of that. Very, very close. Huckabee trying to power through, oh, and a mistake has presented it to David Johnson. And Forrest strike first in the second leg. Johnson rises to the occasion, and this is a huge occasion. Windass, Osama! Oh, they nearly did bite back. Oh, terrific technique. Just coming over the shoulder, and he rolls onto this. Just flicked up from Windass. Here's Huckabee now. And Louis John, Sheffield United a little stretched as Forrest go looking for a second. And Andy Reid's coming in, and they have a second. Watch the delivery of this ball. And then coming in, that fellow we know has got that superb left foot. And he guides this ball because he watches it all the way. And then drives it in the goal. And Sheffield United were a team in a hurry and they've got a free kick here right on the edge of the area and Des Walker was the man who proved to be the offender. The wall is finally sorted. Sheffield United desperately needs something to come of this. Brown is protesting that the wall is creeping out. Michael Brown, it's deflected, it's in! And they have one back straight away and trust Michael Brown to be the man who gives them hope, albeit with a little help on the way. Well, within seconds of Forrest going 2-0 up this side has shown once again its character. I think Andy Reid's the unfortunate player. He goes towards the ball, it's not, it's Des Walker just in front of Andy Reid. They go, both go for the ball, it just hits the inside of Des Walker's body and passes Darren Ward into the back of the net. Look at the celebrations, we're back in it. And the Forest fans who were so comfortable a couple of minutes ago are suddenly not very comfortable at all. Sheffield United have given their supporters so many memorable days and nights this season. I wonder if they have another one up their sleeves yet. 2-0 down, but giving it their all now, it's Steve Cabber. Oh! That is brilliant! That is breathtaking! That is 2-2! Steve Cabber, what a comeback in a pulsating playoff! And that is slow motion because he seemed to take an eternity inside that box. It was as if the Forest players just stood still and watched him and appreciated it. It's a long kick from Paddy Kenny. It goes over the top of Thompson. Now watch Des Walker. He just stands and he watches and he waits for him to put the strike in before he can do anything. And Cabot catches it superb and it's past Darren Ward. What a finish. Look at this. If you're Darren Ward, you don't see it till it's past you. Here's Schimmicker. Oh, he's picked out David Johnson here. Big chance, big moment, and what a saving tackle from Jagielka. That's the tackle of the season. David Johnson with one of those long throws, but Paddy Kenny comes to claim it before Schimmicker can get close to it. Huge kick as well towards Pesky Solido. Pesky Solido. He's finding a way through, doing what he does best. Paul Pesky Solido. Sheffield United's extraordinary season takes an extraordinary twist. They were 2 0 down. Now they're 3 2 up. Forrest thought they were going to Cardiff. Now Sheffield.
Georgia than they think they are. This is something else. Look at Kenny's long kick. Is there a threat while this is in the air? Not at the moment there isn't. Louis John's there. Thompson's there. Look how close this ball is to his feet. Inside, outside, turn away from you. Through the legs. Louis John sticks out a leg. Ward's got everywhere covered except that near post. And this magic little fella does the trick. Look how close that ball is to his feet until he gets rid of it and it sails in the back of the net. Neil Warnock and Kevin Blackwell and Dean Windass and everybody else hug each other in delight. It has been a tantalising turnaround this. Sheffield United appeared to be heading towards playoff oblivion at 2-0 down but now they are 3-2 up and they are seven minutes or so away from Cardiff. Allison, his Kaba. The substitutes have certainly done their bit and Kaba's not giving it up yet. Oh, it's an own goal from Des Walker of all people. And it means that Sheffield United are on their way to Cardiff. You do feel for Des Walker, Kaba does well. The thing about Des Walker on this one, he doesn't know whether he should leave it, he should head it. What does he do? Look at Cabba's pace, takes him down the right-hand side. Look at his position. Shall I head it? I'll have to head it. My goalkeeper's not going to come for it. It's away from him. And then he makes that contact and that's agonising. Here's Darren Huckabee, though. Maybe Forrest have got something to say yet. Oh, it's another goal. Own goal, maybe. It's 4-3. Well, this is just quite incredible, quite amazing. It is Darren Huckabee, and it's away by Wayne Allison, and Sheffield United are through to the First Division playoff final. Neil Warnock and his Blades have got some rewards for their excellent efforts this season. What a captivating contest this was. Never write us off, that's all I say. But I'll tell you what, we've got some guts, haven't we? Hey, fantastic. I'm so proud of him, it's unbelievable. He wants to go and join his players. What an extraordinary game. One of the best ever in the history of the playoffs. Look at some of those players, they've worked so hard all season. And now it's party time. And then tomorrow it's back down to business. Cardiff to come. We stuck in there as we do every match. We played for 90 minutes and 120 minutes today. We just kept going. We knew the goals would come. Paul, have you ever scored a more important goal? I've had, I've had some good ones this season, but that one by far the best. Trip to Cardiff now, but uh, I just wish we wouldn't leave it till the end all the time. Great, though. Fantastic for everybody at the club and the fans, and we're going to Cardiff.